Gwen Stefani once rocked casual SoCal girl style when she was the lead singer of No Doubt. Her evolving style always erred on the side of, because why not? But as with all fashion risk takers, some of her choices didn't go over well. Here are some of Gwen's most controversial outfits. Gwen Stefani has been consistently criticized for cultural appropriation in her clothing. She first came under fire for the ever-present bindi she wore throughout the 1990s, including to the 1998 MTV Video Music Awards, a Hindu religious symbol worn by South Asian women. The bindi has been a common fashion accessory on the foreheads of many other non-Hindu Hollywood A-listers, including Natalie Portman and Selena Gomez. But Stefani wore it everywhere, sporting the color dot at red carpet events and in No Doubt's music videos like like 1995's Don't Speak and Just a Girl. Stefani told Vogue that No Doubt bassist and then-boyfriend Tony Canal was the reason for her fashion choice. She said, I was just so unbelievably fascinated by Indian culture in particular because Tony Canal is Indian. She stated that Canal's mother gifted her the first bindis she wore. Stefani told Vogue, And his mom would come down the stairs ready to go to these like Indian parties all dolled up with a bindi. Vice commented in 2018 that Stefani commercialized the sacred decoration in the 90s. But by No Doubt's video for ex-girlfriend from their 2000 album, Return of Saturn, Stefani had ditched the bindi completely. While promoting 2004's solo album, Love, Angel, Music, Baby, it was apparent Gwen Stefani was in love with Tokyo's fashionable Harajuku district. Appearing everywhere for performances alongside Stefani was an entourage of female Japanese backup dancers who coordinated their eclectic outfits with Stefani's. Explaining her fascination to WWD, Stefani claimed the Harajuku district's edgy street fashion reminded her of her thrift-shopping adolescent self. Stefani said, Having that connection as a little girl and my personal obsession with fashion, I got to the Harajuku district and I was like, what was happening? I should be Japanese? But the Harajuku girls were the focus of the controversy. In 2005, Salon pointed out the problems with the singer's use of her dancers, asserting, Stefani barfed up another image of submissive, giggling Asian women. Comedian Margaret Cho responded in a 2005 blog post, writing that while the Harajuku girls were at least a measure of visibility for Asian women, their Japanese schoolgirl look was, quote, like blackface. Stefani never apologized for including the dancers in her shows. Stefani told Time in 2014, There's always going to be two sides to everything. For me, everything that I did with the Harajuku girls was just a pure compliment. Gwen Stefani's 2004 Love Angel Music Baby album was the cultural appropriation gift that kept on giving. For the album's hit single, Luxurious, Stefani used Southern California's Chola look in a music video centered around the Mexican-American community. Femme Stella observed in 2019, choosing to appropriate the Mexican-American aesthetic, Stefani adopts thinly drawn-on eyebrows, thickly lined lips, and old English-style nameplate necklaces. Femme Stella also criticized Stefani for dressing up to seemingly look like famous Mexican painter Frida Kahlo. Stefani told MTV News that her character in the video was modeled after a Latina classmate in her Anaheim High School. Stefani said, She's this total like chola girl, white face, and she used to sit in class and put on tons of makeup. And I used to just watch her, mesmerized. The comments on the YouTube version of the music video vary wildly in regards to whether she appropriated chola culture. But one user said, She celebrates other cultures without losing herself. Appreciate. Don't assimilate. That's Gwen. I guess um, being an individual, you know, I think that's kind of what fashion's all about. Gwen Stefani and the other members of No Doubt reunited in 2012 to release the album Push and Shove. The album's first single, Settle Down, reached the number 34 spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. But their second single, Looking Hot, wasn't so lucky, with its music video being almost immediately taken down from YouTube due to a serious backlash. In the video, Stefani and bassist Tony Canal portrayed native people escaping from cowboy characters, portrayed by drummer Adrian Young and guitarist Tom Dumont. The band apologized, according to Rolling Stone, with the official apology reading, As a multiracial band, our foundation is built upon both diversity and consideration for other cultures. Our intention with our new video was never to offend, hurt, or trivialize Native American people. The group added that they had consulted with Native American friends and Native American studies experts at the University of California before shooting the video. Stefani once again was accused of appropriating Native culture four years later in 2016, when she donned tribal 
devil braids to perform her single, Misery, on The Voice. One Instagram user commented on the post, You're like the OG culture vulture. The no doubt front woman defended the cultural influence in her fashion choices, telling Femme Stella that, You take pride in your culture and have traditions, and then you share them for new things to be created. Over the years, several of Gwen Stefani's outfits have been deemed too risque for her age by some. In 2019, she wore a long-sleeved, candy-colored bodysuit, complete with fishnet stockings and knee-high boots, on the semifinals of The Voice. Stefani was met with harsh Twitter backlash after she tweeted a picture of the outfit. One fan commented, "'Not appropriate for semifinals. Let's dress like a 50-year-old woman.'" Another stated gently, "'Gwen can look good in almost anything, but this garish outfit is something Jojo Siwa would wear." But the veteran singer's youthful dress code and her apparent inability to age also yielded compliments from fans. For her NBC New Year's Eve 2020 performance, Stefani paired shorts with a sparkly sweater, and many Twitter users noticed her seemingly ageless glow and flawless skin. In a 2014 Glamour interview, Stefani stated that, "'Fashion is not really about age as much as it is reflecting your personality. It's clear Gwen loves to take risks with her fashion but some are clearly better advised than others. I think that my style is going to always evolve, and style definitely reflects, you know, your personality, your mood, and where you're at in your life. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about fashion are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.